Section 48 of The Glories of Mary by St. Alphonsus Liguri. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Of the Virtues of the Most Holy Mary, Section 9, Of the Patience of Mary. Since this earth is a place of merit, it is justly called a valley of tears, for we are all placed here to suffer, and by patience to obtain for our souls eternal life in your patience you shall possess your souls said the lord god gave us the virgin mary as an example of all virtues but especially as an example of patience st francis of sales among other things remarks that at the nuptials of cana jesus christ gave an answer to the most holy virgin by which he seemed to pay but little regard to her prayers woman what is that to thee and to me quid mihi et tibi est mulier precisely for this reason that he might give us an example of the patience of his holy mother but why seek further the whole life of mary was a continual exercise of patience for as an angel revealed to saint bridget the blessed virgin lived always in the midst of sufferings her compassion alone for the sufferings of the redeemer was enough to make her a martyr of patience wherefore saint bonaventure says the crucified conceived the crucified. Crucifixa, crucifixum concepit. When we spoke of her dolors, we considered all she suffered, as well as in her journey and life in Egypt, as during the whole time she lived with her son in the workshop of Nazareth. But the presence of Mary on Calvary, with her dying Jesus, is alone enough to show us how constant and sublime was her patience there stood by the cross of jesus his mother stabat juxta crucem jesu mater eus then by the merit of this her patience as blessed albertus magnus remarks she became our mother and brought us forth to the life of grace if we desire then to be the children of mary we must seek to imitate her patience and what says saint cyprian can enrich us more with merit in this life and glory in the other than bearing sufferings with patience god said by the mouth of the prophet osei i will hedge up thy way with thorns sepium viam tuum spinis saint gregory remarks on this passage that the ways of the elect are hedged with thorns electorum vie spinis sepiuntur for as a hedge of thorns protects the vine so god encompasses his servants with tribulation in order that they may not become attached to the earth therefore saint cyprian concludes patience delivers us from sin and from hell patientia no servat and it is patience that makes the saints patience hath a perfect work bearing in peace the crosses that come to us directly from god as sickness poverty etc as well as those that come to us from men such as persecutions injuries etc st john saw all the saints with palms the emblem of martyrdom in their hands and after this i saw a great multitude and palms were in their hands signifying by this that all men must be martyrs by the sword or by patience be then joyful exclaimed st gregory we can be martyrs without blood if we preserve patience if we suffer the afflictions of this life as saint bernard says patiently and joyfully patienter et gaudeter oh how much every pain endured by god will obtain for us in heaven hence the apostle encourages us in these words our tribulation which is momentary and light worketh for us an eternal weight of glory beautiful are the instructions of saint teresa on this subject he who embraces the cross she says does not feel it and again when a person resolves to suffer the pain is over and if we feel our crosses heavy let us have recourse to mary who is called by the church the comforter of the afflicted consolatrix afflictiorum and by saint john damascene the remedy for all sorrows of the heart omnium dolorum cordium medicamentum ah most sweet lady thou though innocent didst suffer with so much patience and shall i who am deserving of hell refuse to suffer 
my mother to-day i ask of thee the grace not to be exempt from crosses but to support them with patience for the love of jesus i pray thee to obtain for me nothing less than this grace from god through you i hope for it end of section forty eight